When you're actually using your file, so in our case, the My Bedroom August file, to mark progression of your tasks and to measure where you are compared to your plan, then the current date is important. Because a lot of the updating will be done to the current date. But when you're using your project as a training tool or even to experiment with what ifs, then you need to be able to change the current date. Now, instead of having to change the date of your system, Microsoft Project gives you the facility to change the current date for the current project file. This is done through the project information. So currently, this project is due to start on August the 1st, but the current date is in February. If I move the current date until August, And let's say we're part way through the next week, so August the 6th. So we should, in theory, be five days into our project. OK. We can see on the Gantt chart that today line then appears. So as far as this project is concerned, today's date is August the 6th. And if we now start to look at marking progression, that's the date that it will work towards. Now, as well as the ability to change the date, as far as your project is concerned, we can even customize this line. So it doesn't need to be a green solid line. We can make it look more or less prominent depending on how you need to use it. The customization of this today line comes under the grid lines. So if you right click your Gantt chart and choose grid lines, then we're taken into the grid lines dialog box. We can activate the same dialog box if I click cancel by choosing the Gantt chart tools format and then grid lines. And then grid lines again. Brings us to the same place, but obviously you saw the right click was much quicker. In the list of lines that we would wish to format, and we will explore some of the others, but at the moment we're just interested in the current date line. And you can see we can control the type of line. So it can be solid, dashed, dotted, or dashed and dotted. I'm going to go for a dotted line. We can choose the color. I'm going to choose red. And nothing else is controllable. So it's got very minimal controlling options, but they're there to make that line stand out or stand out less. OK, and then I get a red dotty line. And what you've got to remember to do is not to make it match the format of something else, such as, for example, the end and start of the week lines and the start and end of the project, which is also a dotted line, but it's gray. So my red dotty one is my today line. That's into the grid lines. Choose current date. Choose a style and a color. If you don't actually want the today line to be displayed, you choose the top option, which is pretty much telling it to be invisible. Or any of the other four actual lines. OK, I think a solid red line, more prominent than the green or a dotty one. So there we have the ability to control today for your current Microsoft project, which is useful if you're playing with what if scenarios or as we're doing, tending to move through time wise within a project.